if all I've done is bring, so each of those here, in this sort of solid position, and all I've done is balance everything so that when we touch, I can do this. Why does that work? Because I didn't go through that process of going way inside, bringing him back to me, then getting around. I mean, the whole, that static process, okay? Why does it make a difference that you do the same thing in your body and then when you get there, it just works? What's going on? This starts to get to the really interesting stuff. Okay? If you read O-Sensei, O-Sensei doesn't talk about anything but the fact that this training that we're doing is designed to do nothing more than to convince you that there's no separation between anything in the universe. Certainly not a separation between my partner or opponent and myself. That everything is connected. So when, you know, if you, you know anything about physics, they start talking about you know, quantum physics and the idea that the change in state in this electron right here will produce a change in state in an electron on the other side of the universe with no time lag. Now, of course, you know, we can't wrap our minds around that as human beings. It's, too, it's just way too big for us to be able to process. But the equations indicate that. The math says it's true. That's pretty wild stuff, okay? We are all connected. And so, basically, when you start changing things on your end, things change on their end, okay? So, we're learning to, to integrate our bodies in a, in a very you know, special way that we're not born knowing how to do. And we're learning to get in touch with how our mind and our body works together. But what happens is as you start to do that, okay, your static exercises teach you how to do it. But then eventually you have changed your basic default set of default settings. And an attacker, without even knowing it, resonates with that, you know? And the extremes are, you know, you, you were learning how to manipulate the other guy by ch moving his mind, so his mind moves his body, okay? And when we start off, we're using sight, we're using sound, ki, we're using touch all the time. A lot of what we're doing right here is about touch, okay? But there is a vision component, okay? There is a point where, as you get really, really, really in, in, integrated and you understand this, this energy field that you've got just starts to expand. That six directions expansion is so much more than just the physical expansion. And so there are very few people in the world who ever get to this level, but there are some. This, this is. This is, if you train hard enough and long enough, this is where it leads. This was O-sensei's level, okay? And it, for me, it's just frustrating that the way people have envisioned Aikido and the way they're training will never, 50, 60 years of hard practice, you will not get that out of the training because that what you're doing is training the physical. It's just physical, okay? And the goodies are all mental. The physical stuff was, that was you mastering the basics. What passes a lot, what passes for advanced Aikido, you know, seventh dons running around, people like me. This was for O-sensei the starting place to get to the goodies. You had to do this work to get to the really good stuff. And what was the really good stuff? Well, O-sensei hauling one of the deshi out in the middle of the night, in a moonless night in the countryside to do live blade training in the pitch dark. 
and the Uke is saying they, they, they had no idea where he was. They couldn't see their hands in front of their faces. It was so dark in the country. And so they would swing at the spot they'd heard his voice. They're just swinging where they thought he was. And then they said they would see a little flash of light go past their eyes as his blade would catch what little light there was. Live blade training in the pitch black. Who, who's going to do that anymore? No one's going to do that. I can just imagine being in front of an American jury trying to explain why you know, I had killed Arrow at doing this and <laughs> why I had thought that was a really useful exercise. You know, it's like, you did what? This is how the old guys, this was the level the old guys got to. Okay? Who's going to train that way? And I'm not saying that, that that's necessarily the goal for us. That's a, a possible revelation that would come to you through really good training. But what most of us are doing isn't even close. It, it's just never going to approach any of that. And that's not right. So to answer your question, if Ichiro's coming at me and he puts his attention on me and I, my, my state changes, it starts to change in him. And so that's already done. Now, he would like to be doing that back to me. And this is the Ushiro sensei's point. If he's changing his state and arriving at that same kind of, and he wants to get his energy inside me, okay? So see if you can break, break my balance. So he's, he's doing it. Ichiro knows how to do it. So he's coming in and touching me, and I'm breaking. So then what we end up with is who has it best, and I still am better at it than he is, so I get to win. You see what I mean? But it's getting interesting now, because both people know what's going on. Instead of one guy doing the cool stuff and the other guy sort of acting retarded. And not very much Aikido starts talking about that, where both people know this stuff. It changes the quality of the attacks. It makes everything different. And that's when we get to start saying, you know what? I'm simply not going to treat you as separate from me. It's already done. If you come in with the mind to attack me, it doesn't matter because it's already done. And that gets really interesting. That's where we can start to derive. If you read O-sensei and he's talking about all this spiritual stuff, this is the point at which your training starts to connect with what he was talking about. Most people's training don't, doesn't connect with anything that he's talking about. They can't, they read his stuff and they go, oh, this is wonderful, this is really wonderful. They cannot demonstrate those principles in their technique on the mat. There's a complete disconnect between that. That's not what we're talking about. We're, we should be able to take what O-sensei talked about and manifest that in his bodies, because that's what Aikido was about. Aikido is about manifesting those principles in our bodies, in our relationships, in a martial interaction. And yeah, they exist on the cosmic level too, you know, the macro. We're talking about the micro. Everything that's in there is in here, okay? So basically, just like those two electrons, if something changes over here, it changes over here. You just have to understand that and stop acting like it doesn't. You know, our problem with most of our stuff is not that, we, we, our problem is not so much that the, we, in, our, in our heads we understand, oh yeah, it's all supposed to be connected. But in our hearts and our minds, we still act like we're separate. And when you act like we're separate, then the, the, the techniques don't really work. But if I actually start to believe that we're not separate, things change. And he changes. Okay? Does that make sense? That's kind of why. That's, thank you. We'll end now.